Willis County leaders voting to amend a contract to open a notorious detention center in Raymondville. It was a site of an immigrant uprising in 2015. Now activists are calling on the county to halt that reopening. Our Marlene Rodriguez has the details. Brenda, activists are calling this detention center behind me Raymondville's own Guantanamo Bay, and they want Willacy County commissioners to know they do not want another immigrant detention center in their backyard. Protesters gathered outside the commissioner's courts expressing their disdain for the detention center and inside the courts testifying in front of the commissioners. Earlier this week, commissioners reviewed a contract with the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement to hold inmates at a new 1,000 bed detention center. Basically it just means that um, we are getting into agreement with MTC. We are, um, we have an open end contract and um, any type of payment that is being done to the county, they have 60 days to process that. In 2015, immigrant inmates stage an uprising for lack of access to health care and reports of abuse. And activists don't want those issues to happen again. Uh, this detention facility has been shut down two times in the past uh, and it was put on the agenda at the very last minute. Uh, there was not enough time for community members to organize. While the details of the reopening of this detention center are still unknown at this point, activists are urging people to resist the reopening with a petition that they created. Reporting in Raymondville, Marlene Rodriguez, KVEO, News Center 23.